Chris Waller is coming down now after watching another great performance by this wonderful man. Yeah, it was well deserved. Um, she didn't quite hit her A game or the way the race was won first up, but she certainly hit it today. Um, she had to give them a good start. Yeah, what were you thinking there? I was thinking, thank God, we've got James Port. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, so many things go through your mind, whether you're a jockey or a trainer on race day, and, and that's why you've got the good jockeys, like your Corey Browns and Nash Willers, your Kerens, and, and I'm lucky they ride for me, and they make, make my job look a damn lot easier because it's not easy. And Yeah, we didn't go out there with any pre-race um, plan, but just weary that it would be hard to make up ground yeah. but she showed an amazing turn of foot and she was brilliant especially when they're spitting out a couple of 12 seconds up in front that was never going to be easy but uh, you don't get tired of watching that sprint no not in those colors any <laughs> colors for that for that matter it's yeah it was a terrific performance so a month now to the king charles mm. will you use a trial or something like that in between yeah i think today was a month after her first up run and it seems to suit her she's not a big heavy horse so yeah we'll see what's about and see if we can get it right yeah. congratulations jay mac what a horse yeah she is she's um she's so good and um yeah she she she's well, i wasn't pleased with the position we're in today but um were you thinking it was going to be the same as last time i was yeah and i, I was looking up and i was saying oh, zoo got you da -da -da -da. oh rural patronage oh beautiful that was only saving grace but and saying that, she still had to do it the hard way. We've all come to realise that she's she's one-dimensional, so we all know where she's going to be. And I think Chris and I, we put our heads together, and obviously we we're going to ride her to her strengths, which we've obviously nailed down. Well, last prep when she come back, she won like like winks. So you start riding ac accordingly, which she's not winks. So we have to come back a notch and and ride her properly, but. Uh, she, she should have won the wink stakes. There's no two ways about that, and and that wasn't her fault. She was just set too much of a tar. So today, smaller field, it was going to work out all right. But again, the next race, we're going to have to come up with a bit more of a plan.